Previously on The Villain's Lair. Any of y'all ever heard of the Sundial of Kronos? The Sundial gives the owner power to control time itself. Only a direct descendant of a god can awaken the Sundial's power. The Shadow Man has aligned himself with the Sea Witch and threatens our past and future. The Sea Witch is merely a descendant of a god. What we need is a god. The Lord of the Underworld himself, Hades. His soul was devoured and lost to the river Styx. I say we fish his soul out of the river like a codfish. Perhaps a less primitive solution. The Black Cauldron. Legend says its magic can return the dead. Magic mirror, show thy face. Reveal the cauldron's resting place. Across the sea, the cauldron lies. Hidden under more of the skies. We must leave at once! I shall accompany the captain to Morva. Why are you so eager to take this journey? To return Hades? And nothing more? I myself have always had a difficult time trusting fairies. They will manipulate others around them to suit their own agenda. You possess an artifact capable of controlling the shadows. Paradise, I believe. <laughs> We're embarking on a diplomatic voyage on the Queen's orders. Oh, I'm sure a prince can find a way to accommodate a lady. Yes. I just know this will be a voyage you'll never forget. No quarrels, no cares. <laughs> no survivors. Well, mon ami, it appears you won. I suppose you could say the boss is on a roll. <laughs> Funny though, my friends haven't been able to find them on the other side yet. Death may not always be swift, but it is inevitable. You ever figure out where they were going? No. But I wasn't about to wait to find out. You know, if they're really gone, that means their talismans are gone, too. I suppose it does. Their talisman merely gave them their individual powers. Fragments of a relic that goes back long before any of them. Maybe. But without all ten of those original pieces, it makes that sundown useless. Are you working up to a point? You were planning to use that dial to wipe out our comrades, yes? Oh, much more than that. I plan to go back to the beginning, before the relic was broken into the dead pieces. You're going to keep the whole thing. You'll be able to control everything. Time? Magic? See? I knew you were clever. I want to make a deal. You no longer have anything I want. Oh, I think I might. See, my friends tell me our comrades are not only alive, they're headed to Morva. Which part of this is supposed to fascinate you? The Black Cauldron. Even if that were true, its magic is long gone. Maybe you're right. They're as good as dead in those cursed woods anyway. There's nothing in those woods. <laughs> Not yet. What did you have in mind? Exactly. Curious thing to mind. Give it a little suggestion. Maybe a little something lurking in the shadows. Who knows what the mind might believe? They'll turn on each other. Tear themselves apart. Leaving behind their talismans. It seems you do have something to offer. What do you want? Freedom. Didn't we already make this deal? Yeah, but I want better terms. I tricked those goons into releasing you, and in exchange, you promised to free me from the other side. And here you stand. With only one foot in this world! 
I've been claimed by the other side once, and I'm not about to let it happen again. You want to control time? I want to control fate. <laughs> Your power is mighty more than me, but until you can use that sundial, it's only at its strongest on the sea. And since our happy campers are on some sort of nature walk through the shadows of Morva, it seems to me you need someone who deals in shadows. Do we have a deal? Enjoy Morva. How could you be so stupid? <laughs> That's rich coming from you. You invited our enemy onto the ship. Who knows how much she heard before she tried to sink us. And now we're, we're stuck wherever we are with no way home. And all because of you. I told you, I don't know how she got on board. I don't even remember meeting her. Incidentally, didn't she pull the same stunt on all of you? Not half as bad as the stunt I'm going to pull on you. As riveting as this display of fragile masculinity is, might I suggest saving your energy? You're going to need it. The Sea Witch will no doubt have learned by now that we did not meet our demise. We must move swiftly. Blast it! That's two... Thank you, Smee. Two ships I've lost now! That was my ship! Oh, right you are, Heinz. Your ship indeed! <laughs> Good form. <laughs> Shh! Listen! I hear nothing. <laughs> Me either. No birds. No movement. It's all so... quiet. Let's just find the cauldron and get out of here. Which one of you has the map? Smee! Where's the map? On the ship, Captain. On the ship, Mr. Smee. Aye, aye, Captain. And where is the ship, Mr. Smee? On the bottom of the sea, Captain. Then I suppose you'd better stop with a silence. and stay behind with the luggage. If you see the cabana boy, do send him my way. I need another drink. I like my martinis dry, but this is really ridiculous. So we don't need a map? How does she know where we're going? Shouldn't we- Stop asking questions. Apologies, I know questions are difficult for you. Now, I think it's time for a little reunion with some old friends. <laughs> Head over to our new store with all new villainous merchandise. T-shirts, sweatshirts, posters, water bottles, and more. Just follow the link in the description below. Did you know that the Villain's Lair is fully funded by our patrons? That's right. So if you want to watch part two of this episode right now and pick up some perks, head on over to Patreon where you can become a member for as little as $3.